It is so important to be talking about this because people feel a lot of fear and feel like the surgery might be worse than the experience that they're having and living with on a day to day. But I feel so confident in saying that how I was living was way worse than going through the surgery and managing the recovery. One of the main symptoms that was really hard was when I would go to the bathroom, I couldn't totally empty my bladder. I also started to get pretty frequent UTIs all of a sudden after having never had them and also having had pretty much the same sexual partner for many years. And over a slow period of time, I started to feel this constant bloating in the lower part of my stomach. And it was, it was pretty painful and it would get worse right before my period. It really was the heavy bleeding that really started to scare me. But two years ago, I was lying in bed and noticed again that really intense bloating. And I took my fingers and felt down where the bloating felt the most intense and noticed that there was a hardness or a firmness there. doctor was able to find quite a few fibroids. I was really shocked by how many were found. I think at the time there might have been 10 or so. By the time I found my first initial fibroids, my uterus was stretched to about 10 weeks of pregnancy. So it started to really get higher inside of my abdomen, which is why I was having so much bloating and it also explained the bleeding. bought me about a year or so where I felt my symptoms somewhat reduced. By the summer of 2021, I was in a lot of discomfort again. And so I went back in to see my OB GYN again, and they had found that more fibroids were present. Almost a year and a half, two years, I was walking around every day feeling very much like a six month pregnant person, but without any of the symptoms. about three months since my surgery and there's still some bloating. I still feel tender in certain places. I'm not exactly where I maybe had envisioned myself being, but I feel way better. My energy is more back than it's been in years. I am just having a lot less bloating and I just don't feel that heaviness. I knew that the journey that I was on between the pain, the isolation, the exhaustion, fibroids make you so tired. It can be a really lonely journey, especially because fibroids are what I consider invisible obstacle. Sometimes as a result of what you're experiencing not being visible, you can feel like maybe it's not as bad, maybe I don't need to talk about it as much. But for me, I knew how much I was suffering and how much I was struggling and how important it felt to share about that. I had an awareness of fibroids, but not with the amount of visibility that I have now. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that it affects women or people with uteruses, one. And secondly, that it impacts black women. And what I think is so important about having this conversation is that now there's more and more and more information coming forward about fibroids. Thank you.